Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, it has been a year. Sorry about that. <laughs> it has been a year since I have uploaded. So if you are new to my channel, hi, my name is Lauren. I started off on YouTube when I was a sophomore in college, so about four years ago. And I started off doing Bible studies. I then hopped into doing makeup tutorials because I pretty much got tired of people asking me how to do makeup. And then um, I graduated and got a real job and uh, it just became really, really hard to film. Y'all haven't seen me since I lived in Florida. I moved to Chicago um, in February and now I'm in Oklahoma. So I have moved around a lot. So this is a new background for y'all. These are all my boxes. What we're gonna do today is I'm kind of taking a turn and I am no longer really collecting makeup. I'm doing something called Project Pan. If you don't know what that is, it's essentially taking your makeup and trying to use it and going on a no buy and just really focusing in on the products that you have rather than going out and buying new products. So I started this last year. Let me grab my phone, please hold. I started this last year and I didn't really have a goal in mind. I kind of just wanted to use up my makeup. Project Pan, you're able to join different projects like pan that palette which is where you're essentially trying to pan an entire palette use it completely up i didn't participate in anything like that last year because i just wanted to minimize so thing i started to do was after i made posts and stuff when i got pr in i would let my friends go through what they wanted first and essentially um if i had nothing left that i would that i wanted i would still give it away or I'd give it to women's shelters. Last year I had 129 empties and 167 decluttered items. So that was over everything, hair, body, skin, and makeup. Um, I did empty 57 makeup products though. So that's pretty impressive. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm going to essentially walk you through my collection that I have now and I'm going to pull out all the items that I'm using in projects and participating in four projects. Um, one is Project Pan, so I am going to be painting a Wet n Wild palette because it's small, it's easy. The second one is Out With The Old, that was one created by me. And it's essentially just taking the oldest product in each category. Jumping into June, I also created that. It is for six months and it's taking six products that are really hard to use. Mine has a lot of lip products in it and a face mask. Just trying to use those up. And then Wizard of Panning, that was created by Amanda Drake. That's my big one of the year. There is a product for each character. I think in total it's like 15 or 20 products. Um, so it's a lot, but I kind of just want to show y'all what my setup looks like now and where I'm at because it is definitely a lot different than what y'all saw when I was in college because I don't think I ever got to uploading my new setup when I was in Florida. I think I filmed it and my computer crashed if I'm remembering correctly. I'm not really gonna declutter everything because I've already done that. I declutter quite often. So this is pretty much what, that was my phone. What I have is what I have. So let's turn around and jump into it. Okay, so the lighting's really bad just because my ring light's right here, but I don't want it shining in y'all's face. I just wanted to show you the setup that I have now. So, all first of all, all of these shelves are from Lowe's. The mirror is a Fairmount mirror. I got it from work. Those little lights here are just battery operated. My aunt gave them to me. But I have these acrylic. I'll list everything that I can below. But I have these acrylic organizers from Amazon, uh, sunscreen sprays. Face, eye, face, little items like my little Wet n Wild PR that I don't use. Um, all lips, <laughs> it's a lot, but it's not as much as it used to be. Bigger face palettes. Um, I have my Too Faced palette here. It was my first big purchase. And then uh, mascara, eyeliner, brow, brushes. All right here, kind of everyday stuff that I use. If I am getting ready here, I do get ready at the gym most of the time. So anything I'm doing in a pan, I use every day. So going back in here, more brushes. Back to the tripod, we go. All right, y'all, also sorry if I am a little rusty. It's been a year since I've done this, so just bear with me. 
I'm gonna try to stay out of the frame as much as possible, but here's where I have my setting sprays. So I made goals for every category this year. Some of them don't have goals, some of them do. This is where I have my setting spray. My goal is to have three. I have had these two Mario ones since the Black Friday sale of 2018, and I'm just now getting to this one. Both of these are in pans or projects this year. So that's just something that always is in a box. It's always in PR. I grab them if they're on sale, so it's just not something I really run out of. Those are little um, travels. And then this is my sunscreen. The Tarte sunscreen is in a pan. I have it in this little jar because I do take it to um, the gym with me in the morning and I just need to save space. So I can't even see if I'm in the screen, but this bad boy is going back in there. To come up here, I don't have anything on these. These are all my Suva Beauty Liners, um, two little lip mixers by Pixie, and then a Holy Glitter palette that I'm not counting in anything because I really only use those for SFX or just very rarely. But And then these are just tools. Also, this is from Amazon. I'll try to go and find it and list it below. Here is where I have my facial primers. Uh, this Becca one is in my Out With The Old. It is my oldest uh, facial primer, so I that is going back into the box or bin, and then this is my Rimmel Stay Matte. Favorite, as of now, um, matte facial primer. I do like this Smith & Colt one, but I do need to try it out a little bit more. Um, this Cover X... Cover FX one I feel like is really never ending. I mean, my goal for facial primers is really just to have two. I don't really feel like any of the blurring ones do anything, so I really just want a matte one for my uh, gym bag every day and then one for at home because sometimes I am just too lazy to go to gym in the morning. This one is bursting at the same. This is powder, concealer, and foundation. So this one right here is my it Cosmetic CC. It's almost done, so I just put it in a little jar. That one's going. This is my newest one from Fenty. Like I said, I had a lot of foundations that weren't my shade, including that one. So this is going back in there. I'm currently using the Instant Rain Ride by Maybelline and LA Pro for concealer, but this is the rest of it. I don't have a goal for any of these categories except for powder. They just started selling Laura Mercier at Ulta. So once I finish off all these, Cody Airspun and Laura Mercier will be my go-tos. I don't like Sephora. Um, so, But I really don't have a goal with foundation and concealers. I just want to find ones that I like. I do want to finish all of these off because right now the Fenty one and the Rimmel are my favorite. So just kind of finishing off what I have. Uh, the Bare Minerals one I do like because it's nice for, it actually has a lot of coverage for a powder foundation. And then that's just a Tarte um, powder that I bought from someone. And then here is the Singles, Glitters, and Mini Palette. So this one is just a mini travel palette with some singles and then mini Benefit bronzer and blush. My biggest goal with the glitter side of everything is just to use one of these sticks. This Mally Beauty is a stick eyeshadow. I don't know why I thought I'd like these. I never use them, so right now I'm just using it as a base. So that's going back in there. This Cover Up X one is in a project too. It's in my Wizard of Panning. I just keep forgetting to use it. This is my palette that I am doing for Pan That Palette. It's the Wet n Wild Rose in the Air. It's really small, a lot of everyday colors, so I think it'll be easy. I don't want to focus on a big palette because I don't want to get bored. That happened at the end of this year, or end of 2019. I tried to use the Huda Buda uh, Desert Dusk palette for about five months and I ended up selling it because I couldn't stand it anymore. So the rest of these are just singles and I have downsized this tremendously. Down here is just glitter and lashes, miscellaneous. Nothing really important. Moving over here, up here, I just have some little PR items. That's from the Wet n Wild Pac-Man collection and then this is the Becca um, Cham or, yeah, Champagne Pop and Prosetto from her collection. I just hold on to that because it's special. And then two Jeffree Star lippies. Let me back up a little. How I do my makeup is I have it divided and I'll kind of show you with the lipsticks, but I have summer and spring and then winter and fall. So these are all my fall and winter colors because they're lighter because if I use the ones I can use in the summer, it's just going to look like I have gold streaks on my face. I do that with um, 
bronzer, highlighter, blush, and lip products. This isn't everything, it's just these, but I can show you that. It's just in a bin, but anywho, this is highlighters. So, my goal for highlighters, one of them, this is the Milani highlighter in strobe light. This is my oldest highlighter in a collection. So, this is my Out With The Old Fenty Beauty. I do rotate my blushes, bronzers, highlighters, and eyeshadow palettes every week. So this week I am using the Fenty. So I'll just mix those two together. But my biggest goal is to flatten out the star in my two Jeffree Star highlighters. And then the two patterns in the Wet n Wild. This is my absolute favorite Wet n Wild color. It's Glow Watcher. It's from the Fire and Ice collection. And I want to buy a backup because it's limited edition. But I don't need to buy a backup. But this is my favorite one. Whoo! I'm out of breath. Blush. <laughs> if you used to watch my YouTube videos, I never used blush and I had a ton. That's back when I kept all PR, all box stuff. I didn't get rid of anything. Recently, this past year, I did get into blush. So one thing that is in a collection is this Anastasia Blush Trio in Pink Passion. I have this in my Wizard of Panning. I'm using this middle shade. I didn't have any, I can't remember what character it is but it's for something named after candy or something sweet. And this was the only color that was close. It's sugar. It was the only thing that was close. So I'm just trying to use up this. I will mix it with whatever color I'm using that week. Um, this week I am using the Pretty Vulgar Blush in Hush Blush. I love their blush. One of my big reasons I am doing Project Pan is I want my Holy Grail in every um, category and Pretty Vulgar has the best blush on this earth. So yeah these are actually <laughs> except for this note one down here which is I got last year in Florida I remember because I took the picture on the beach and that Sigma one which I got right before I moved from Texas these are all <laughs> new. Whoops! Down here is bronzer. I do have bronzer palettes up there, which we're about to go through. Um, but I am trying to completely pan this Hoola, whoops, Hoola bronzer. It does have my name on it, so I won't throw it away when it's done, but I've got a pan in it. So I'm using that one every day. My rotation for this week is the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. It broke out of its pan. So I wrap it up in here because I take it to the gym with me. But I really do love all of these bronzers. I think they're great. I don't necessarily want to minimize my collection in bronzers, um, but I will show you one up here that I am trying to get rid of, or actually two. But yeah, that is all for this section, and I guess we'll just move I up. I can't see, but I think this is about as good of an angle as you're gonna get, so I hope you can see. I started 2019 in January with 36 palettes. Now we are down to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I think I'm down to 16 or 17 palettes. I don't count my bright palettes like my Suva Beauty one and my Pinky Rose because I use those specifically for SFX. One thing I am using this year, this is in my Wizard of Panning. It's one that I want to get more use out of. The NYX Bright palette. It's fairly old, um, but I have all these brights in my other bright palettes and some of these can really be doled down and you can build them up so they can kind of be used as everyday colors. So I'm putting that back in there. My new year's resolution of last year was to only buy, was to buy no palettes. Um, I did end up buying the Thirsty palette, which I recently depotted and rearranged. I kind of need to glue those back down. I bought the ABH Norvana, which I really haven't even had the chance to use much. I've used it very little. And then um, I recently just got this in the other day. I bought this from a friend. It's the Natasha Denona Sunrise palette because I got it for $50. If I would have gotten it from Sephora, it would have been around 75 plus with tax. So Moving on. So I actually have two palettes in rotation. My IBY Beauty is in my um, Out With The Old. It's my oldest palette. As you can see, I don't know if it'll show up, but this highlight one I repressed and it's almost gone. A big goal of mine this year is to use all of the lighter shades, just a setting powder, as I have these palettes in my rotation. 
just because they are powder just so I can get use out of them but I am planning to pan this complete thing except for that shade right there because it's not my color so that's going back into the rotation Kat Von D is in my wizard of panning it's also a very old one again biggest goal just to finish off the uh, these two shades that one I'm not that peachy I'm not that dark so just really to make dents in these because it is so old but I really do love all the qualities of these um, this is just a Z palette that's morphing at the bottom um, but just a Z palette that I have but like Pro Fusion I absolutely adore their formula they're at Target great brand this cover up X palette I thought about the other day the bronzer is really really great the finishing powder is really great I don't really like the highlighter but I think for the purpose of just multi-purpose palettes I'm going to keep it um, at least pan the bronzer and then I can toss after that, and then these are just my two blush palettes. This is my Pixie Glow, which I've used excessively for about two years now. This is in Pink Champagne Glow. The lettering's almost gone. And then this is my only really cream product right now. We got it in a BoxyCharm. I don't really know how I feel about it. It's just hard to work with. I'm not used to cream products, so that's that. But let's move over there to the other stuff. So we'll just stay up here for now since we're up here, but these are all of my depotted shadows. I did go on a depotting spree last year and I that's how I went down from so many palettes to these three because so many palettes have repeat shades that I never used. So one palette that is in this week's rotation and is in Wizard of Panning is this one. They're all, these big ones are Suva Buta. Beauty. These are Olimar and those are ColourPop. It's just bright colors that I love but I don't give enough love to and Suva has an amazing quality. So this is one that I just really want to get more use out of and it is in this week's rotation. One thing I really do like about depotting is I have a pan in about half of my Anastasia colors now which I didn't last ever actually um, so I think this is a really great method it's not for everyone I do understand how you can kind of lose the drive to use them because packaging is such a big key in makeup but anywho I went from like five profusion palettes to just this one that's the Wanderlust um, 35M Morphe Glen Hill and then just an empty big Davina Cosmetics palette if I ever do want to put all of my singles back into one. And then, like I said, over here, I just have my little Too Faced. Don't use it anymore. It's hella old. But this is an area that I have an excessive amount in. I have all of my mascaras. If I can do this without anything falling out. All my mascaras are right here. My favorite is Lash Paradise by L'Oreal and Tarte One Two Lights Camera Action or whatever. The purple tube. So my goal is to finish off all of these and have just those on hand along with one waterproof. Same with brow products. I don't really have a favorite brow product right now. I am using eyeshadows as brow. I use these for my brows, those for my bald spots and my hair in this nifty difty magnetic Texas Hustle Glitters palette self promo. So it's just, it's tough. I had my eyebrows microbladed, they faded, blah, blah, blah. Pencils aren't my thing. I really like powder or the tinted gel. And then all of these are eyeliners. I really decluttered a lot. Um, right now, I don't have a felt tip or I have one, but I'm using a Rimmel liquid right now. I decided a week or two ago that I'm not going to repurchase a felt tip when I empty that one and I'm just going to use all of my, um, all of my pencils up this year just because I have so many. Um, this is the Rimmel one that I'm using right now. This Sephora one is in my, uh, out with the old because it's the oldest in my collection. It's like four or five years old. It is old, old. And then I'm currently using the Charlotte Tilbury and a mini Tarte one. So this will go back into our rotation and then I am using the Pacifica brow gel again oldest product in that collection so that is going back and that's pretty much that it's just a lot I don't need that many especially with how quickly my scares go bad it's just a lot and <laughs> yeah so now to the best part in my opinion I feel like this is everyone's favorite area Whew. 
So let me explain how I have these sorted. So from here over, these are my, if I could only have these lipsticks or I couldn't have any, I would have these. These are all of my really spring colored, so you can see a lot of bright pinks, nudes, and these are kind of my all the time, going into fall, but still summer, but still good. Like we've got some bright ones back here, just some really good nudes, my pixies. So, I like this L'Oreal one. It's just a really good nude, so you get my gist. Right here are three my three lip products and my jumping into June. This LA and Q1, it's my favorite, but it's old. It's almost gone, so I'm using that one every day right now. I go through lip gloss like crazy. This Pixie one is only about a year and a half old, but it's the oldest. And then this Bella Pierre lip liner. Not my favorite formula. It's not terrible, but it's not the best, but again, the oldest. So just trying to use those up. Here is where I have my winter colors. So they're kind of organized, not really, but I have a lot of my browns and oranges here. Um, then it gets into the reds, the berries, and then like this buxom one is this deep. So that's that. This is my next lit, uh, work color. I do have a mini or like a deluxe size nude stick and sin that I'm using right now, but I don't really like pencils, jumbo pencils like this, I would prefer just like a jumbo bullet. So this will be my next work lipstick. Just so I can use it. It's by Il Maquillage. It's a great formula, just not my cup of tea. Then over here, same with the lip gloss. I have my really dark golds, golds, my whites, and then super pinks, and then just kind of the in-betweens. Again, just really divided by color because lip gloss doesn't really need a season. It's mainly just color. And then back here, I do have my lip liners. So these, right, those two really are like my brightest, so like my really big springtime colors. These are my really pretty mauves, which I adore mauve. So those are my really all year round. These are more of my fall. They're just really dark, deep nudes or really light browns and then these are all my berries reds browns so i'm really trying to minimize this collection as well goal with lipstick in general use up five bullets god rest my soul use up one or two liquid because some of these like my tart ones i've had those for a while and i've used them so i feel like i can get them out um this mono one it's like a lipstick liquid lipstick lip gloss type thing this is in a pan or a project um and then lip gloss i'd like to use five and just use up as many lip liners as i possibly can just because it's just too much i would love to be able to fit everything in one or two drawers i mean i love this setup it's just it feels like a lot and my biggest goal for 2020 is to keep absolutely no lip products that I get in subscription boxes or PR or gift with purchases. If I have to make a post about it with PR and I have to use it, I will gift it to a friend. Other than that, I'm just gonna give it to a women's shelter because I, I don't need any more. These are my colors, I know what I like. Absolutely under no circumstances am I keeping any lip products, so. That's my collection. All right guys, so that wraps up, I hope I'm in focus, I don't remember how to work a camera. That wraps up my collection right now and kind of what I'm doing with Project Pans over the course of 2020. Like I just said, I'm absolutely under no circumstances keeping any lip products. Really my no buy is just around not buying anything new until that category is used up. So like no more foundations until I use up that Fenty one because it is the one that's my shade for right now or I've used up others or like absolutely no more setting sprays, which again, I don't really buy them. They either come in PR or they come in boxes. Just things like that. I'm, I really restricted myself for two years on eyeshadow palettes and now I'm kind of realizing what formulas I do and don't like. So that's just kind of being cautious of the colors that I already have type thing. Um, but, you know, no more powders. It's really just using up what I have. I'm not necessarily on a strict, you absolutely can't have it, outside of eyeliner because I need to use up all those and then lip anything because I have too much. So it feels cool to be back. I don't know really how much I'm really going to be able to film because, like I said, I work 
45, 50 hours a week. I work nine to six, so I can't do it in the morning because I go to the gym. I get home at six o'clock. The last thing I want to do is take off my makeup and put on more. So it's just kind of tough. It's not top of mind anymore, but I will leave my Instagram below. It's panhouse2020 for my project pan. I will leave my beauty page as always in Texas House of Glitters as always down below. I'll try to find the links for all the Amazon containers that I bought. Um, yeah, most of them came from Amazon. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully this isn't too long. We'll see. But yeah, I guess I'll see y'all when I see y'all because I don't know what I'm doing. Bye.